Well, today is more dark, dark kind of fall sky, which is kind of ironic because the next few days it's going to be almost 80 degrees. Not something I wanted. For the new people here, about back in June, I got overheated. I overdo stuff. I never know when to stop, but being a mom of eight, I guess that's, you know, kind of in my nature. So, I um, was overdoing it as per usual, and I was, you know, got hot and sweated and whatever, and sat down like I always do, drink some water, Gatorade, whatever. But I just felt really terrible. Like, I felt like I was going to pass out. I felt like I was going to throw up. My head was spinning, and I told my son, I'm going to my room. I said, check on me. I just don't feel right. And then all of a sudden, I was still hot burning. Like, if you touch my skin, you'd think I had a fever 104, 105. But I stopped sweating. <clears throat> so it took me between 12 to 15 hours to recover. I don't know if I had gotten heat stroke or heat exhaustion or whatever. And the thing is, I started getting the chills. <clears throat> so from that day on, my body continued to be hot. This, my skin was hot. I took my temperature, by the way, when this was happening. It was 95, which 95 con is considered hypothermia, which obviously I didn't have. <clears throat> and I had three thermometers and I got some more. I'm up to six thermometers. They can't all be wrong. <clears throat> so since that day, my body is hot and my body will not sweat anymore. I don't know if you've ever heard of anyone having this. I don't know what it is. Took a lot of pushing on my doctor to run some tests. Um, I want to see endocrinologist after now it's October. I finally was able to call. Well, they had to wait for them to call me to get an appointment, which won't be till the end of November. I'm still hot, and I thought with the cooler weather it would be better. It makes it worse because it's cold, so my body feels the air that it's cold, which would make me want to put on a blanket. But if I put on a blanket on a burning body, say like you or your child has a fever, the, the, the protocol for nowadays, because they change between my first child and my next, they, it used to be cover them up and let them sweat it out. Well, now it's keep them, you know, uncovered. But I feel cold, so I cover myself. And the burning skin feels even hotter. It's unreal. But I can't sweat. I feel where I'm going to sweat. Like, you know, I don't know. Because no one thinks of this. I never thought of it. But before you sweat, you get this feeling of sweating. But my body won't sweat. So I have no idea what happened. It happened, whatever happened that day, something went wrong with my body. They did a lot of blood work. They checked my, you know, everything. Thyroid, of course, first, the hypothalamus. But there's more in-depth tests. And I guess that's what the endocrinologist will be doing. By the way, I always stop if I see something. I don't know if I can point to it. Where is my finger? Oh, I, can, I can never figure out. Okay, there. Do you see? It doesn't look like a face there, like a head. And there's the nose and the mouth. Tell me if you see that or anything else. So anyhow, and it, it drains me because I have insomnia. I've had insomnia for about 18 years, but this is even worse. I'm constantly waking up because when I'm cold, I put the blanket on and I'm just burning, just like if you had a bad, bad fever and you're burning. So I take it off, but then it feels cold again. I don't know. I just don't know what's going on, but I know it's sucking the energy and the life out of me whatever is happening. So like on a cooler day, if I was in the car, I'd have the air on where I see people wearing a jacket. Right now I'm going to the store, which I don't do, but I have, I have to pick up prescriptions, so I have to be there. People have jackets on right now today, and I have on shorts and a sleeveless shirt because my body right now where the air is blowing, it's cool on my upper part because that's where the air is blowing, but my from my neck down, on fire. You touch it, it's on fire. Anywhere clothes touch my skin, skin to skin, like under your arms, if I cross my legs, um, anywhere where skin touches skin. I don't have the air blowing on the left side. That arm is very hot. I mean, you touch it. And being a mom, anyone who's a mom, you probably get the art of what I had. You can just touch your child and basically, you can tell their temperature. At least I can. I know when it's you know, low grade or when it's high. I almost could, I almost could guess it on the dot. Of course, again, with eight kids, you have a lot of practice. 
But anyhow, this is what's been going on with me. So I don't know if anyone else has experienced anything like this or heard of it. It's not like hot flashes. I started hot flashes long ago when I was pregnant with my daughter. Um, and they said it was probably because when you're carrying a, ch a girl child, they have more hormones. I don't know. But that was, you get hot, but then you sweat. And then you get cool. It, it comes and goes, but it doesn't continue. So since June, I want to say it was June 2nd, my body is constantly hot. So in the summer, I basically was sitting and just putting cold cloths all over me by the fan. Then I was able to buy an air conditioner because I didn't have one. Um, but now, like I say, in the cooler weather, it's, it's hard. But now these next few days, when it's almost going to be 80, I dread it. I really dread how awful it's going to be for me because I got to relive more heat coming on to me. Lucky I didn't take the air down yet, so I'll leave it there. I don't know. So if you've heard of anything, let me know. But the main purpose of this video is to show you the beautiful sky. So I have another channel that's called Sandy Mom that was my original channel. So if you, if you, um, subscribe here, please go over to Sandy Mom. I'm going to be doing a series on stress management because I'm sure we're under stress. Go over to that channel and write down any questions you have about stress. Also, maybe here, write down, do you like pumpkin? Are you a person like, oh, it's fall pumpkin time. If you like it, tell me what you like. What do you like that's pumpkin? Do you bake anything? Do you have any good recipes? Please share them. And have you ever made a pumpkin pie out of real pumpkin? When I'm in the store today, I'm going to look for a real pumpkin, and um, I looked up on YouTube how to bake it. I'm going to try to make a pumpkin pie, and I'll do it for YouTube. I don't know which channel. This channel is slow growing. I just started. When more people come, I'll, I'll be doing more videos. I'm probably going to do one or two a week on here, but go to Sandy Mom, and I have over a thousand videos on there. And Like I said, I'm going to be doing a series on stress. I have teaching either Tuesday and Thursdays. I read books little children's books um baking cooking which this channel will be convert to once i grow it so share this channel it would really help don't forget to subscribe like hit the notification bell it helps the algorithm which helps grow my channel oh look at that it's another where's my finger right there isn't that pretty so see if you see anything in the clouds and let me know but don't forget to be kind help others love everyone and together we can make a difference. So for now, bye everyone.